According to me. Hi, right. everybody, well, it's me and Chris here on Nuntelli. Uh, we have. What are you doing? Coffee. This one is yeah. called Frozen Dried Coffee. This is the cheapest one. Oh, that sounds nice. So, let's have a try. Yeah, I'll have a cup of that one. Let's try a bit of that. It smells. Does it smell alright? No, it smells like gravy. Do you want to try a bit? Not really. Right, I'm going to try this, see what it tastes like. This is uh, me and George's um, can't make coffee it. test. Yeah, coffee test. Do not test the um, decaf because it's pointless drinking decaf coffee. If you want coffee, you want coffee for its caffeine. You don't want coffee for its decaf. It's coffee flavour, it's shit. So that's what I'm going to put there. Well, I think this one is a bit bit nasty it's got a real tangy taste uh yeah. real zingy uh ooh, not nice uh, it would have it real would bit. have it's just freeze-dried crap it's basically so yeah, check this one away. the this coffee one. farmers when they're when they're farming their coffee, it's basically the crap off their boots that they just scrape off dry it out leave it in the sun right here we go tester yeah. number two next one this nest one cafe. what which which nest cafe nest cafe oh yeah right next this one is Nest Cafe original double filtered. Double, not triple. Let's give it a smell. Do you want to smell it? Yeah. I know what it smells like. I used to drink this. Ah, uh, not bad. Bit weak, I think. Weak, yeah, it always is. It always is. I never drink that one. Let's try this one. Yeah, it's got to be gold blend for me, personally. Mm, slightly hint of bitterness. Um, not really. Any flavour to it, just a not much, plain, plain bit of... Not that. much body, it won't really... Yeah, it'll wake you up in the morning, but it's not real coffee. Yeah, definitely good for waking you up, but yeah. not, not, no good for taste. Yeah, double filtered's probably better. We'll throw it away, but... Uh, second one, definitely we have... Not, not a £2.20 a pop. Second we have, decaf. Yeah. Now, two quid. Look at the size of the jar, first of all. Nobody ever takes this into consideration on these tasting things. Look at the size of that jar. Fucking two quid ninety, and they're taking the piss at two pound nineteen. My old um, Iceland's used to do a bigger jar than that for about. I think it was just coming up to two quid. And then you've got the uh, four roast that mountain crap, red mountain or something. It's pretty rubbish. But Let's see if it's recording still. Yeah, there it is. Oh yeah. Value now, value for money there is pretty shit. Now we're gonna do the decaf uh, tester. Yeah. The difference between decaf. Yeah, right, I bought it by mistake because I wanted. Smoke? Well, I've been drinking it. I know what it is. I've been drinking it. It smells like shit. Right, I bought go. it by mistake because I wanted to buy that one. And I ended up buying that one because both jars are quite similar. Um, I didn't look at it carefully enough, and it was in the usual section, so I've just grabbed the nearest one to me on my way around. Right here we go, decaf. Mmm, got a bit of a nice hint flavour. Uh, it's got a bit of a sidekick, you know, a little, little kaboom. Uh, it's just flavour though, isn't it? Still, still it's lost its uh, bitterness, but it's got uh, a bit nicer flavour. Uh, yeah. Kind of almost got a powerful taste, but hasn't got the power, so it's got no kick, I'm afraid. Yeah, a bit like drinking mud. <laughs> Yeah, uh, if you put mud in a cup with yeah, water. Just a bit like, yeah. Yeah. No old uh, cow pad. Yeah. Right. And next, the best one, Nest Cafe Gold Blend. Right. You're drinking it black? Yeah. Why don't you put the milk in? Oh, no. I always add milk, don't I? I was going to test it how it is, I suppose. Here we go. Yeah, but wait, aren't we supposed to be trying unusual coffees? Because everyone in the country knows what Gold Blend, Gold Blend Decaf and Nest Cafe tastes like already because they already buy it. Yeah. Well, a, we're doing the difference between decaf and blend, really. Well, the difference, you could have done that without making a video because one's decaf and it ain't got caffeine. The other's better. Uh, well. But for people that don't know, um, for people that don't know about decaf, decaf is shit, don't buy it. Yeah, well, uh, it's mud. It's just mud. Oh yeah. Not, not to any disrespect to the Nest Cafe company. What they do is great, but that stuff. Now, uh, why bother? Okay, second yeah. test. Second test. It's 
got like an immersing, uh, releasing sensation. Like it's uh, releasing sensation. Got like an extra body to it. So is there something in that? Have you put a rum in that or something? <laughs> <laughs> so uh, yeah, highly recommended. Gold. Wheels. Gold. Yeah, gold land. There it is. Oh, that one um, in all major retailers for um, sometimes you can get it up for about fiver. Uh, six quid the other day, Iceland's a bit of a rip off. I thought that's taking a piss. The strength is how many? One, two, three coffee beans. So, could be five. Could be five. So, we don't really, we don't think the decaf is too bad because it is quite convincing. It's not, it's shit. Oh. It's not, it's. Uh, it don't do nothing, it's just coffee flavour. So, it's pretty pointless. You may as well eat mud, I suppose. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, you'd be better off with mud. It'll probably wake you up more as well. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right, thank you for watching, everybody. See you later. See you soon. Bye. Bye. Yeah.